out slow. Sorry. You were the one who wanted to try this. I do. Just use more loop. Okay. Where did you get it anyway? Online. <laughs> what is this, Crystal? It's Swarovski. <laughs> Classy. How does that feel? Yeah, that's good. Hey, have you ever heard of Schrodinger's cat? Uh, remind me. <laughs> so it's this thought experiment. There's a cat locked behind a door, but you don't know if the cat's alive or dead. And, oh, oh, I'll help back there. Yep, got it. Okay. And so the thought is that the cat is simultaneously alive and dead. You won't know which until you open the door. Okay. <laughs> what makes you bring that up? Well, I was thinking, you know, that's kind of like our relationship. Until we open the door, we won't know <laughs> whether it's alive or dead. Mm -hmm. I just think it's time we open that door. You want to talk about this now? I mean, we're at the three month mark. I think that's appropriate. You want to talk about this right now? Come on, just tell me. When I read to you. All right, well, I um, really like spending time with you. <laughs> you know, you're uh, a good activity partner. Wow. Activity partner? Huh. Yeah, I mean, yeah. Well, what do you want me to say? I mean, Natalie, you know, I told you I'm not looking for anything serious. I'm sorry. So spending all this time together, trying pretty intimate new things in bed together, that doesn't seem mixed messagey to you? No, I just thought that that's what you wanted oh, to my... do. Wow, that is such a dick move, Mark. Well, I have no interest in continuing something that's not going anywhere. What, did it fall oh. out? It didn't fall out. Oh, shit. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. You want to be Wait, fucking kidding me? Wasn't the base supposed to stop it from going in? Well, you must have used too much lube. Oh, my God. I can't reach it. Okay, do you want me to Google something? Just... Go get it. Okay. Uh, hey, yes? Okay. I'm okay. Just relax. Oh my god, this was such a dumb idea. Oh my god. It's just... Sorry. Oh my god, can you just get it? Please get it out! I'm trying. I'm trying. I You're can't get... You're not trying. You're I'm just really fiddling. Just I, get it I so can, I can get the fuck I, I out can of feel here. It. I just, I can't get. I can't get it. So, what does that mean? I don't think the Uber driver sensed anything. This is the most humiliating night of my life. Well, I'm sure they see this kind of thing all the time. Really? All the time? Oh, yeah. People are always sticking stuff up there. You know, you can go. You don't have to stay. Hmm? I want to. You feel obligated to.
When's the last time you were in a hospital? I guess it must have been when I was eight years old. My sister pushed me into the front door of our house, busted my lip wide open. Well, you probably deserved it. Probably. Yeah. Got a bunch of stitches. Even have a scar, too. Can't see it, but it's under the beard. Oh, yeah. You never miss that. How about you? Uh, six months ago to say goodbye to my grandma. Oh, I'm sorry. That sucks. Yeah, thanks. <laughs> do you think your dead relatives can just spy on you from beyond the grave and see all the gross shit you do when you're by yourself or with a partner or something? No, I just think they probably have better things to do. Okay, well, not all the time then. Okay, but tonight, let's say, for example, my grandma is up there floating around in heaven, presumably, <laughs> and she's like, oh, I think I'll check in on my beautiful Natalie tonight. What could she possibly be? Oh, my goodness, my <laughs> baby! <laughs> she used to warn me about guys like you. Really? Who are guys like me? You know. Fuck boys. Granny. <laughs> she didn't actually say fuck boy, did she? You'd be surprised. Well, I do not care for that designation. How about emotionally unavailable, then? Oh, that's probably closer. Hmm. That's kind of my thing, dating emotionally unavailable guys. My therapist thinks it's because, deep down, I think that I don't deserve happiness. And I always just laugh her off, but maybe she's right, you know? Hmm. Are your parents happy? <laughs> Are you my shrink now? No, I just, um, I read this thing once where we don't want to have more than our parents did, even if we say otherwise. Hmm. Well, my dad died when I was really young. My mom never remarried. She never really dated. So, yeah, maybe that's part of it. Hmm. What's fucked is I just keep throwing myself into these things just so trusting. It's like I wish all of the heartbreak would make me more guarded or more cynical or just more protected, but mm, that's not me. It's not me to not be hopeful or trusting or not to love. I guess it's just my programming. So what do we think? Is it a boy or a girl? Or do we not want to know? You put that back. Hmm? Put that back. It's right there. Put that back. Yeah, you really don't have to stay. I'll be fine. I'm staying. Get over it. You know, I can't tell. Are you a nice guy? Are you an asshole? I'm both. I'm a hybrid. I guess that explains it then. You know, you really led me on there. Well, I thought I was being upfront with you. I did say right from the beginning that I'm not looking for oh, anything yeah, serious. Oh, yeah, I'm not looking for anything serious. We all say that, and we all secretly hope that someone will come along and change our minds. Yeah, I suppose that's true. So it's just me, then? No, it isn't. Natalie... You're amazing. You're kind, you're brilliant, total freak in bed. But? But, I don't know. I guess we're just not the right fit. OK, say more about that. OK. 
Well, I, I don't know. Well, I mean, for one, our diets are completely different. I mean, you're a vegan. What would we even eat? We've managed so far. Yeah, so far, but that's the kind of thing that becomes a problem down the road. I mean, I love cheese, real cheese. I can't do any more of this cashew cheese oh, of yours. Yeah, tell me, tell me this is about cashew cheese. I'm not explaining this right. I, you think? I don't know, I guess I just don't feel that thing. What thing? That thing, that rush, that intensity. Well, if you felt like this, why didn't you say something earlier? I guess I didn't want to hurt your feelings. Great job. You aced that. You know, that feeling you're talking about, that rush, that can't be the foundation for a relationship because that shit fades. That's not what love is. Yes, I know that. Really? Because it sounds like to me you think that love is supposed to be some sort of laser show all the time. Nope, that's not at all what I believe. Well, what do you believe then? I believe that love is something that's made in the trenches. It's two people fighting for it even when it's hard. Right. Right. Right, but that's why that initial rush is important because it propels the whole thing forward. It's like relationship jet fuel. No, and I think, I think you're just chasing some idealistic idea of connection that doesn't exist. Well, I do know that it exists because I've had it before. Well, why don't you go call her then? Jesus. Well, you may have noticed that she is not around. And you know why? Because things end. They always do. So what's the point in getting invested in something that's just transitory? Let me ask you this. Would you give up all the good times you had with this person to never feel the pain of losing them? No, I guess not. The pain of losing someone is the price of having them. If you're going to avoid the bad, you're going to keep out all the good, too. So how you feeling? OK. <laughs> yeah? Lighter. <laughs> you going to keep it? Do what with it? Put it on my mantle? I just mean, if at first you don't succeed. <laughs> no. I hope this experience hasn't soured you on butt play. Oh my god, okay. You know what? The butt plug was not the biggest pain in my ass tonight. Oh, jokes. <laughs> Love jokes. So funny. <laughs> All right, Mr. Hybrid, this is me. Want to keep walking for a bit? It's cold out. We could go get something for breakfast. Know anything that's open around here? There's a really good vegan place around the corner. Perfect. We have cashew cheese. I love cashew you cheese. I love cashew cheese. It's so good for you. <laughs> it's so good for the environment. Yeah.